Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to No Luck Garage. So today I got a couple of uh, goodies in the mail and I think I'm gonna take a break from messing with this rear end right now. I'd like to hurry up and get it done, but I'm just gonna just hit pause on that for a minute. Um, I got an idea. I've seen quite a few videos of this online. I would like to buy a new intake for this. One of those metal, uh, sheet metal jobbies but since we're on quite a budget i was thinking why not just shave that intake and put a different throttle body on it and maybe some fuel line or fuel rails and see where that gets me uh so let me talk to you guys a bit more about shaving this intake and what i mean uh let's see can i just grab a hold of this thing yeah, come with me. So, um, what I was looking into is all these ribs like this, this kind of, I'd assume that it probably gives it some kind of structural integrity. All of these guys, um, I'm not gonna have anything fastening there. The only part of anything up top that you see, all of these ports, anything like that you see, I'm going to keep is the throttle cable bracket which i now notice only has one thread insert in it's typically these three that people keep not sure when it comes to this fella or this guy yet not 100 percent sure i still have to do some more research with that so we're going to take the fuel rails off take this crossover line off pull all of the sensors out of it and then i'm going to use something like where is it? Something like this guy, maybe? Um, I'm not sure how that's gonna go. Um, some people said they used uh, a hacksaw, a grinder, you know, the death wheel, a uh, whole bunch of different stuff. So I'm just gonna set the camera up and let it do its thing. Oh, oh fuck. Oh yeah, bud. Oh yeah, get some. Okay, it works. We got a fancy app here. You can control the things with your stuff and stuff, you know. Control your GoPro. I like this thing. If you guys are thinking about doing this sort of thing, yeah. Sit something around, get Chosky in and do this.
Well, that lasted long. So at least we got, I mean, I got some something done. So basically what I'm gonna do is once all this is, you know, all of this is taken down, I'm gonna sand it flat, like block sand it flat with probably some 80 grit and then move up to like a 120 or a 320. Get this whole thing flat, take this plastic that I have left over, heat it up probably with like a soldering iron or, or soldering gun or something like that and melt it back into this is going to be a hole that one will be that one will be same on the other side once that's done smooth it out the best i can sand it again maybe bondo anything that i have to left and paint it all probably just a, a gloss black i think would look all right so we're gonna step it up in saw size maybe the death wheel i bet you that would make pretty quick work of this but i i don't i don't do good with i get a little carried away and maybe cut some things that i shouldn't and stuff so we're gonna just take it easy on just ease into it just ease into it safety squints engage doing some funky stuff to this blade too or this wheel i think that's just plastic but it's like tearing the end of the wheel apart so we're gonna try option number three and maybe maybe that i'm running out of room here <laughs> Like no. That's that's why, right there. Boom. You know what?
interesting. Took a little bit longer than I expected it to. Um, got plastic everywhere. Good thing I had... Well, I mean, good thing I had those covered because there's... Uh, yeah. It made a mess. It made a pretty, pretty big mess. But, check it out. So, obviously this isn't the final stage. But we got all that crap off the top. And... Like I said before, these are for the throttle bracket. I got a little... All right, I got a lot carried away right there. I hope I can fix that, because if I can't, then that was all for nothing. If I can't, I mean, you can find these intakes for like... Some dude told me he pays no more than 20 bucks for them, but I don't know about that. Um, so we're going to hang on to all this extra crap like this. Um, maybe... You could use like a wax warmer or something to warm this up and kind of turn it into a liquid and like blob it on there. I don't know what I'm going to do, but we're going to go through and sand it and get all like this extra crap off and blow it out and get all this stuff out from inside there. And I think it's, I think it's going to look good once it's all smoothed out and sanded down and cleaned up and painted. I think it'll look, I think it'll look really nice. I mean, the grinder probably made the quickest work of it, but it really wasn't probably the tool of choice that somebody should use. But it got the job done anyway. So I just wanted to make another video for you guys. I said I was going to make one a week, but I, I feel really overexcited. Everybody's given me really good support on this, and I, I feel like I want to make as many videos as I can, I guess, but still have some quality to them, not just putting them out there like crazy so uh the next video we will either continue working on that intake or um mess around in the rear end some more i have a hard time staying on 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 task like one thing i kind of do one thing halfway and then say oh i forgot about this over here and then go over there and do that so i'm gonna try my best to when i start something i'm gonna finish it and you know, do one thing all the way through. But if you guys like the content, don't forget to like and subscribe, share it with a friend. I'm getting, the channel went from zero subscribers to 19 in a matter of just a couple of days, really. So that's awesome. I got 80 some views, I think, on my first video so far. So if you guys can like it and subscribe, I would appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thanks for hanging out with me. Till next time, have a good one.